Hello, uh, this is Pavel from RunQuiz. Today I want to share our view on the current state of automatic SEO systems, um, specifically SEO content. The, the SEO content is a technical content intended for um, SEO benefits and uh, the current state of it. I, uh, I give a subtopic why automatic SEO content will be dead in 2015. Um, and of course, it's not going to be that for uh, uh, first for the reason why that uh, because mm, a lot of people continue using uh, non-effective methods long after they stopped working. So of course, it's going to be uh, continue uh, gonna continue after uh, in, during 2015 and after. But uh, we have enough evidence to see that it produces less and less. Uh, benefits and it continue will be on a trend down and uh, in terms of benefits it uh, uh, creates and before we go into the uh, the current state uh, it's it's nice to see that in the perspective of how it's all started and beginning of the history uh, for the search engine specifically for the Google algorithm uh, with this the the premise that popularity or ranking is based on aggregated value of references or links from external resources pages. That was a huge step of uh, moving from using page itself, analyzing the page itself for mm, how good it is to be ranked for any specific keyword for using external resources because it's much uh, harder to uh, manipulate and abuse. And this is a simple diagram how it uh, um, it worked, of course, it's a uh, thousand times uh, uh, more complex, but this is the, the, this is the base idea. There's a page or resource and we have uh, another pages or another resources referencing this or having links to this. Every link has an anchor and uh, this is the main database of uh, uh, how you can uh, uh, determine popularity of this resource for the term, let's say, for how to train a dog. Every resource has a weight. This is a uh, famous 200-something uh, criteria Google uses, let's call it search engine users, to, uh, to calculate aggregated, aggregated value of the uh, page where the link is coming from. But it has weight and it has anchor. So if you wanted to, to see who is uh, most uh, popular for how to train the doc, you do search for link database for the anchor, how to train the doc. And at the beginning it was exact and multiply by the weight and sum them up together and see that. And this is how you see who is most popular, who is second most popular. Um, this is, was, uh, this is, was the golden age of the, uh, uh, link uh, spamming, especially in combination with the Google's mantra that external link cannot uh, harm the site. Mm, the uh, the mantra was uh, the more link, the better. Link is a link. The any automated system was uh, designed to leave as many links all over the web as possible because link could not harm the site so basically the more you put in better the google says good link uh worth more than thousand bad links and the community replies well so then we'll place like ten thousand links and with like uh with automated tools that does not require like any uh manual effort and uh, here comes the next step bare links stopped working all of a sudden context context uh, uh, of the page where the link is placed coming into the picture or this is the panda update so uh, links from the uh, from the footer stopped working and even more links from the uh, content like uh, if you place the link in the auto insurance content all of a sudden it stopped working even you, you uh, we use the mm, as before the exact uh, anchor for uh, the how to train the dog and uh, we we see ever since evidence that search engine less and less using anchor text and more and more context of the page 
and even more correlation between contexts is more uh, straightforward. It's not like dog, uh, very generic dog to uh, dog page to dog page. And this will be the second uh, diagram. So we still have uh, links and anchors, but we now have a new um, contextual topic of the page. Um, and uh, while a search engine still using anchor, so the anchor and contextual topic must be in correlation. So if this is how to train the dog, so this topic it should be somehow closely related to how to train the dog. And basically it could be about dogs. Uh, and that was a big change from the from the time when uh, uh, ACO community didn't care about what content to put it on. And it made a lot of automated system um, um, outdated and it created a huge market for the uh, system that created not only placed the link but also created contextual uh, related uh, content that was around 2012 there are a lot of new system there are a new system and this is where Bronquist started because there was an opportunity of creating the content with the, with the anchors so over time we see that anchors is getting not as important as contextual topics while they are still both used to calculate the value of the of the reference page and even more ever since the search engine switches uh, switching uh, switching more and more on contextual topics anchor is becoming the mm, source for uh, penalty so there's over optimization penalty when uh, over optimized anchor can get you in trouble but still up until now I see benefits were uh, of uh, automatic ACO would be somewhat similar to uh, to the one we do, we do manually. Um, and for the first phase when the context uh, content wasn't in place, it was all based on links and, uh, and anchors. That's why the system uh, were designed to place as many links. And uh, what do you place a link on the very have uh, hard uh, like uh, hard research and very well detailed uh, uh, article about how to train the dog or in, uh, in the article about auto insurance the one that plays in the higher uh, uh, authority resource will win in the second place uh, in the second phase when the context uh, come into picture uh, after system adopted uh, it's again, it's again, we get to the point when uh, because the correlation between uh, the contextual topics wasn't very detailed, uh, as long as you create the content on the topic of dogs and uh, place a link in the content, uh, it works. But uh, the more we move it into the search engine, getting better and better in detailize the uh, context, context of the pages and correlation between the uh, source and target, we see the trend uh, towards better and more detailed context and better contextual correlation between target and source pages. And as a result, so, uh, it's more and more important of not just to, to have a, a source with a, something about dogs, but it must, should be more related to the target. So like if you want to how to train the dog, it should be more toward the training the dog. Um, how currently uh, most of the SEO content uh, system works uh, and uh, while all different so like in the topic and in the top level uh, they haven't changed much they improved a lot but haven't much changed since uh, 2012 let's say mm, so we all collect niche related keywords and uh, uh, it could be dogs uh, how to train the dog so basically very generic to make sure we have enough we collect enough information. Then uh, systems indicate relevant content or 
uh, scrape the content text images videos it uses templates to compile them together and then there's an effort to make it as unique as possible and this is where you use spinners and translation and different uh, tricks and um, make and hopefully make it readable so like uh, usually uh, an attempt to make it unique is our powers to make it readable but over time as you grow and disconnect on how we do manual uh, SEO and automatic SEO and to prove this this is a typical diagram that will be highly considered uh, uh, good practice for nowadays of uh, multi-tier um, SEO. While we use generic niche content and niche keywords, more, more detailed niche keywords for low tiers, let's say this is all on the topic of dogs, but that will be more specific uh, because uh, Anchor and, contact and uh, Context still work as long as they are to some extent in correlation. So we we use generic niche content, let's say, uh, again, dogs, but there will be very detailed anchor and we use uh, uh, tools to diversify this anchor to make sure there is no over-optimization, but they're all somehow related to the, to the niche. But uh, the way we, we do like top tier, like tier number or tier, tier one is different. Like you, you see more and more that recommendation is just to put effort on the uh, very crafted, very well crafted content, which is optimized for the every specific keyword and don't abuse uh, niche keywords and uh, better use brand keywords. Why is that? Um, because anchor keywords like those those pair like anchor and can context work together but anchor become less and less uh, over time slowly over time less and less important and context more and more important anchor can get you in trouble context not so basically the more specific the related context of this so it's not anymore a dog but this is let's say you know training dogs uh, not uh, that good in a dog's niche so but let's say if we use a diet so we have weight loss and uh, there's a diet and there's like subtopic of the paleo diet and there's like uh, what is paleo diet instead of creating all of these on the generic on the weight loss like I mean you can see the typical created content where like there's apple and there's like someone measuring the and the size and smile and so there's like everything about weight loss but the site itself is on let's say a very specific affiliate site on the paleo diet so what we we moving in toward is creating more specific uh, pages toward uh, are gonna uh, optimize for every keyword and we don't care any longer um, as much on the anchor because uh, the context itself is enough to show the high relevancy of this resource to this resource. So, or in other words, to summarize how we do manual SEO. So we do a keyword research. If you go to any SEO course, so that that will be just uh, always marked as a most important topic, never miss. So basically the premise is that 20 well-researched keywords, low volume, low competition is better than one keyword, a generic keyword with, uh, even if it's high volume, but uh, very extremely high competitive. Mm. So we uh, ideally create a page, a specific page for each keyword. We interlink them from lo low volume, low competition to more generic pages. Uh, that's also known as uh, SILA. And then we promote and monitor every page for intended keyword. It's uh, sometimes it happened that page is start ranking for something different you never intended, but uh, it makes sense that if you put an effort to creating um, page for the keyword what is paleo diet and you create it um, basically promote or backlink it with the intention to uh, to rank for keyword what is a paleo diet there is a, a very high um, chance that it will be. Uh, ranked for this specific keyword rather than any other like random keywords and so back to the to the same diagram and this is where this uh, the whole idea of why SEO content will be dead in 2015 or at least will be bringing less and less uh, 
benefit or just will be on the downtrend on the benefit is because mm, the current any current system uses this uh, generic weight loss uh, content and uh, try to optimize uh, more on the uh, anchor still uh, because it's it's easier uh, while that uh, trend is toward of uh, uh, diminishing importance of the anchor text and uh, more and more important of the very detailed contextual topic of reference reference pages to do to determine if this specific resource is um, um, popular or should be ranked for the very specific keyword let's say what is paleo diet and this is where that um, our idea is how to we going to improve the what direction we're going to be moving in 2015 for the context uh, uh, for creating the content um it's it's different from most of the system do and it's uh, 10 like might be even more times challenging but uh, this is what we believe they'll just give uh again they put again the automatic seo on par with the uh the ones like people do manually so this is outlined the way to improve automatic is you're basically it's too much the same process as i um outlined and uh well what we do manual so it starts with the list of keywords but instead of just jamming them all together and create some generic content we will we're going to build every piece of content based on the single keyword so if it is what is paleo diet so that will be just uh, content based on the what is paleo diet if uh, keywords are very close related so it might be it's not going to be big different but like if you look at the um, generic topic of weight loss obviously content created on the uh, the exercises for weight loss and paleo diet recipes will be completely different and then it will be more targeted and even more we're going to use we're not only going to use content um uh, we're, we're not only going to use the content based on the single keyword we will attach this keyword and use this as a metadata for interlinking so now we have not only piece of content but we also have attached what a paleo diet to this page and we have an opportunity to create trio of related pages linked by the meta keyword so basically diagram is going to be so we do a keyword research and we have a tree and uh, let's say it's 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 more complex let's say diet and then weight loss and diet and paleo diet and then the, the paleo diet foods uh, uh, foods on paleo diet what is paleo diet and so on so this is all low competition um, keywords uh, that after uh, keyword research we identified as a low um even low volume but low competition so basically easily to break in and mm, we're gonna create uh we're gonna change to create the piece of content based on specific keyword and attach this uh, attach this uh, keyword to the piece of content as metadata and uh, to see it on a bigger scale so we have in our main site we have a, a first tier where we create every page optimized for specific keyword but after that we have second third tier it might be uh, thousands of resources uh, hundreds and thousands of resources but they're going to be used the same approach and we will create will will end up well, dozens might be even hundreds of pages on different web 2 blogging sites uh, web 2 sites social sites but they will be optimized for um, there will be group that will be optimized for keyword what is paleo diet and because we use uh, um, metadata attached so this is for us indication of how I link them together so instead of promoting one big blob of uh, pages with another blob of pages like randomly this is where you will see that kind of any typical diagram random like of net that are just hard to see where where it goes so sub it will be every page will be promoted like as a running automatically run as a separate sub campaign so we'll have paleo diet weight loss that will create um, sub uh, sub uh, lower tier category pages on the uh, the same uh, keyword uh, paleo diet weight loss 
and there will be and paleo cookbook and uh, so this is basically where that we currently research we made a progress um it's 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 very like we got uh, to some stage work and tell that we got a very impressive results and uh, we will be updating uh, you on the our progress but in the meantime i want to engage our members and everyone who is interested to discuss the topic and see what else uh, can you think uh, will contribute in 2015 to uh, to improve quality of automated ACO and to make it to 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 improve benefits and to uh, help it to match the effort people do manually so this is basically the summary of uh, our view on why the current study the current um, content generation that uh, per, like most of the content system use will be uh, produced diminishing re uh, return and how we can improve it uh, moving forward thank you for watching